Hey YouTube, in this video, I'm going to install WordPress on a test subdomain, and I'm going to show you how to do it with SCP. Okay, so let's go to WordPress.org and let's go over here and get WordPress. Okay. All right, so we're going to download it, and you'll see it's downloaded. And this is a Chromebook, so just let you know that it works this way. You can sometimes just upload the zip, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that a little bit differently. Okay, so I'm going to go here and just copy this into my Linux files over here. That's going to take a moment to copy over. And uh, then we're going to use the terminal to upload this. Okay, so it's going to take some time. It's doing a few things. Da, 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 da. It's copying over the files. Went fairly quickly. And while it's doing that, so I'm going to let that copy over. While it's doing that, I'm going to log into my cPanel here. <clears throat> okay. And I'm going to create a subdomain. So let me just uh, type subdomain up here. Okay. And this is through HostGator. And I'm going to use a website called Dogfish Shark, which I haven't used. So the subdomain is going to be test. Okay, so it'll be test.dogfishshark.com. Let's create that. Okay. All right, so you'll see that test.dogfishshark.com has been created. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go over and go to my file manager here for a moment. So let me show you. So I'll go down to Dogfish Shark. And I don't have anything there. Let's see. And I created the folder yet. Ah, here we go. We have test.dogfishshark.com. All right, so this is a subdomain. And so we're going to just remember that for later. Okay. I'm going to close this out here for a minute, but I need my IP address. I have my username. I'm going to need that. Okay. And let's check on our progress over here. So WordPress is copied. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to fire up a terminal. That's going to take maybe a moment. Okay. So we got our terminal open and let's just uh, make this a little bit larger so you can see what I'm doing. Um, go here, go up to like 18 font, maybe 20, okay. 20. All right. So we've got a nice big font here, all right? So I'm going to type in the command scp hyphen r, and then I'm going to type what I'm going to upload. So it's going to be uh, dot in indicating the current level of the folder, and then WordPress, and then where I'm going to upload it to. Okay, so it's going to be my username, tunkert, at, now we're going to go back over here and copy this IP address here. Copy that. Control V. Oops, control Shift V for the terminal. And then we want the subdomain. So this is going to be in test.dogfishshark.com. Okay. And now we're going to enter the password. So I'm going to enter my password in. I won't tell you what that is, but okay. And now you see the files are going over there. Okay. So we're uploading those files with secure protocol, okay? So we're gonna go through that. It's gonna upload the files. And I'll take a few moments. <clears throat> While it's doing that, I'm gonna show you something. And I'll pause the video for this because you know, um, I don't wanna show you everything with it, but uh, I'm gonna go to my SQL wizard, and we're going to want to create a database here. So uh, I'm going to need to create a database, 
Uh, so I'm going to give it a name and then I'll have to create a username to associate with that database. And uh, we need to remember that for WordPress. Okay. Okay. And we're going, we're going, we're going. It's still uploading all that stuff. It's going to be a little while. And I'll do something else. Just we got to move some stuff around. I'll show you in a moment. Yeah, you just saw the 2021 theme. It's being uploaded, something with that. Uh, we got all these files. And, you know, this is a lot of files. There's uh, generally around, I think, 5,000 files for a base WordPress installation. So it might take a while. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause the video while it's doing this, and then we'll go back in a moment. So let's just, hi, we're back and we'll see that we uploaded all this stuff. Um, so that's done. Uh, I've now added a user to the database um, and I want to grant all privileges. Okay. And let's go to the next step. Okay. And all right, so I was added, okay? So, okay, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna use something called SSHFS, which is kind of like Secure Shell, except it's Secure Shell File System. And from that, I can mount um, basically the uh, remote server stuff on my machine. It's not really on it. But I can use my stuff like Vim and Emacs or whatever I want to use, VS Code, Atom, whatever I'm feeling on the particular day, I can use that with all my plugins to edit remotely. Right now, I'm just going to do it because I want to um, basically move some of the WordPress files easily. Now, I could do this with SSH, but it's nice for me to kind of move it. And then maybe if I need to go in Vim, I can do that. So to do it, that, I'm going to type SSH. SSHFS, okay, and then my username, T. Unkert, then at, and then I got to get the, uh, go back here and get the IP address again. So at my IP address, so I'm going to copy that, okay, and then we'll paste that, that and then um, it's going to be test.dogfishshark.com. And we move this up and actually I need to make this a little bit smaller. So um, go to my preference here and make it just a little bit smaller. So let's go down a bit. Okay, we'll go down a bit. All right, so uh, now what I need to do is I need to mount it on something so actually first before i even go ahead and do this <laughs> let me make a directory uh called uh dogfish shark okay and now i can mount it all right so sshfs okay uh my username then at um at the ip address that my server's on colon and then test dot dogfish shark.com and then um basically this the little squiggly line i forget what that's called but uh it's like the approximately sign but anyways uh that and then a slash that's at the root um and then we have dogfish shark is where we're going to mount it and i'm going to hit enter and it's going to ask me for the password i'll type that in And you'll see there's no errors. So let's CD into dogfish shark. Okay, now I look and we see we have a CGI bin and WordPress. Okay, so now we'd have to move some of the WordPress. Like if we go into WordPress here, the WordPress folder and list, we have all this stuff, but I wanna move it up one level. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to say, I'm gonna actually CD up and I'm going to say move, uh, and then 
dot slash WordPress, then a slash and a star, and then we're just going to move it up one, okay? And it's gonna move all that stuff up one. So it's gonna take a moment to do that, okay? Uh, so I'm just moving that up so we can go ahead and do our WordPress install. And I'm gonna pause the video again because this may take a few minutes or a minute or so. Hey, welcome back YouTube. Uh, so what happened here is I actually should have put dot dot slash dogfish shark. Uh, so you'll see, um, couldn't move some of the stuff. Uh, we basically failed to preserve ownership. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pause the video again. And this time I'm actually gonna, instead of just typing dot dot slash, I'll do dot dot slash dogfish shark. Um, I'm gonna have to move some of this stuff up. So I won't bore you with that stuff and we'll come back in a moment or so. Hey YouTube, we're back. And uh, so I, I did move it correctly. You'll see uh, when I did a dogfish shark, that actually went very quickly and it moved them all up. And so now we're ready to go. We've got our database and everything. We're ready to go to test.dogfishshark.com. So we'll go here. And you'll see it starts to walk us through the setup. So yes, I'm gonna pick English and I'm gonna continue. Uh, so you're gonna need the database name, the database username, the database password, database host, and the database or the table prefix if you want to run more than one WordPress in a single database. So let's go. <clears throat> now I'm gonna leave this as localhost and this is WP here. Uh, I will have to put in the username and password. I'm going to pause it while I do while I do that. So hold on one sec. All right. So I've entered in the information. You'll see the sign. It says "All right, Sparky, you've made it through this part of the installation. WordPress can now communicate with your database. If you're ready, time now to run the installation. So let's do that. Okay. So we need a site title. Um, so this will be uh, test dogfish shark. You name it whatever you want. You're going to put a na username, password, email associated with it. And right now, since it's a test site, let's discourage the search engines from indexing it because we're just building it. And um, we don't want people to know about it yet because we're doing development of this. Uh, once we do move it over to the regular domain, we do want that site to uh, be indexed by the search engine. So we'll have to turn this off, but for right now, we're gonna discourage them. So I'm gonna pause the video, enter a username, password. Uh, I'm gonna change it from this and email, and then I'll run the next part and we'll install it, okay? All right, so I've now installed it. Now I can go and log in, okay? Uh, so I'm going to pause this and type in my information and log in. So now I've entered that information. I have my WordPress set up on a subdomain and I can remotely edit the files by going through SSHFS, um, which I have set up and mounted on this dogfish shark folder. Uh, so I think this is a pretty good place to stop the video at this point. In the further videos, we'll talk about after we've installed WordPress, really getting it custom and coding on the back end. So, and I'm going to use um, a plugin called Advanced Fields Custom Pro. And what that'll do is it'll allow me to code a custom layout on the back end, but then give the user who might not be as technically adept as uh, a programmer, uh, they can alter some of the areas on their back end of the, uh, of the website. So I'm going to code something up in PHP, but they'll be able to say, like, if I have an image on a certain part of the screen, they could change that image on the back end of the WordPress. Okay, so this is what a developer, a WordPress developer would really do. Uh, we're, we're talking about an actual WordPress developer that's a professional uh, versus someone who can just move stuff around. I can code on the back end. Uh, and then allow the user to still make some alterations of their own. 
and and do some stuff there and i can create custom layouts and then they can build out their pages without having to code uh using those custom layouts so it's pretty cool um it is a pro plugin uh luckily i'll be able to use it for some of these videos so um i'm gonna go ahead and show you that stuff in the next one but anyways if you did like this video please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow and i thank you for watching and have a great day